Clinging to the steep ravines of Port-au-Prince, the neighborhood of Campeche is slowly rebuilding. Like many communities, it was devastated by the earthquake of 2010, but it's here that the American Red Cross and its partners say they're doing some of their best work. New roads and bridges are being constructed by Haitian-trained workers, and throughout the community, homes are being built and refurbished. Marie Math Antoine tells us she feels like everyone here is now rich, and that life is so much better now that they're no longer living in tents. We've had the particular attention to the quality also. But the American Red Cross, which raised close to half a billion dollars after the earthquake, has been accused of letting the people of Haiti down by squandering money and failing to deliver aid to those most in need. One of the most serious accusations is that they only built six new homes, something the Red Cross leaders here say is nothing short of a dangerous lie. In that sense, I feel very sad about that because those are lives that we will not be able to save in the future if the population uh, does not have that confidence that they should have in us because we are doing a great job. The charity told us they faced serious challenges with land rights but claim every dollar raised has been invested wisely. They did acknowledge that the months after the earthquake were chaotic and that leaked internal emails from former employees criticizing aid efforts are understandable given the stress many were under. But they point to their work here and investments in other parts of the country as examples of real progress. I've been coming to Haiti since the earthquake and have watched many different communities trying to rebuild, but nothing on this scale or to these standards. If this is the Red Cross's flagship project here, then it certainly seems to be making big strides. They did some good things. They are doing better things now, but at that time it was a mess. But Jean-Max Bellarive, who was the prime minister at the time of the earthquake and oversaw reconstruction efforts, has been a vocal critic of the American Red Cross and other NGOs. He claims most of them are arrogant and that they ignored the Haitian authorities in the crucial days after the quake. They have the same global attitude. We have the solution, we are going to do that, and you don't have to tell me what to do with the money that I receive. Perhaps in your name, but I'm responsible of that money and I'm responsible to give explanation. I don't have to give you explanation. The American Red Cross's reputation here is now under scrutiny, but the organization denied all the accusations leveled against it. Nevertheless, some here feel that foreign-based charities and NGOs need to involve Haitians more so that they can gain the independence they've wanted for so long. And Agalakar Al Jazeera, Port-au-Prince, Haiti.